Hey everybody, it's Delight from DenverWhimsyCrochet.com and today I'm going to show you how to crochet in rows. So I've gotten started. I have here my slip stitch. So if you don't know how to do a slip stitch, go back and watch the video on that. And now I have done nine chains, or wait, how many have I done? Let's count. I've done my chains. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes, I've done nine chains. And if you don't know how to do chains, I've also got a video link down below for you to learn how to do that. And now I'm going to be starting on my next row and I'm gonna be using single crochets. So I've also got a video on single crochets. I'm not gonna break that down for you right now. This is just about how to crochet in rows. So I've gotten to the end of my row. Let's pretend my pattern just said to chain nine. And then it's gonna tell me to single crochet in the second chain from the hook. So I'm going to look and here is one, two. So I'm going to go into my second chain from the hook. That just basically means I'm skipping the one that's closest to the hook. And I'm going to go in there. I'm going to do my single crochet. So like I said, I've got another video on single crochet uh, if you need that broken down for you in a little bit more detail. So I'm going to go in and single crochet in each of my chains that I did here at the base. And so because I skipped that one that was close, the reason why you skip that one chain and you go into the second chain from the hook is just to give you a little bit of space to turn around and go the other way. Otherwise, it's just going to kind of collapse in on itself. And so because I skipped that, I'm actually going to end up with eight single crochets when I get to the end of this row. like I should move this yarn ball a little bit here. So it's just a white background for you. Okay. So now I'm almost at the end. This is my last one. And let's go back and double check to make sure that I have all eight like I'm supposed to. So I've got, so this right here, this is not a stitch. Let me just take this off so I can get this closer for you. This is not, this is not a single crochet. This is just a little nub from where I skipped over that one chain that was closest to the hook when I started here. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hooray. Okay. So I've got eight, like I'm supposed to, and now it's time to turn around and do the second row. So I'm going to put my uh, my hook back in here. Doo -doo -doo. And now in order to turn around and go back the other way, I'm going to chain one. So just wrap around, pull through. And then I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to start going back the other way. I need a little bit more slack in my yarn here. And so now I'm going to start doing my single crochets. Now make sure so this is my chain right here, and this is my first single crochet stitch. So I want to make sure I get under here. Sometimes I used to, when I first started, I used to get confused. See how I'm going right there? I used to skip that sometimes and think that that wasn't where I was supposed to start, and then I would lose a stitch every single time. And you can imagine that's not going to work out well for anybody. So that's why I made this video, because I used to try to make a square or a rectangle, and actually what it turned out looking like was a pyramid or a triangle because I would lose stitches every single time when I was trying to crochet in rows. So now I go back across and I'm making my eight single crochets. I'm just going to get to the end and show you one more time how you turn around and then I'm going to let you go do it yourself. Okay. And here is the end. Wow. 
Here is the very last one. Sometimes it's a little tricky to get your hook through. Okay, and now I'm gonna double check. So I don't really double check every single time. I can see that I have all eights just because it's looking rectangular. But if you're new to this, you might want to double check each round and make sure or each row, excuse me, and make sure that you have all the stitches you're supposed to have. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so ready to keep going. Now I'm going to chain one again, turn around, and go the other direction, making sure that I start right there. I'm not going to put a single crochet into this. This is the chain, but I'm going to put a single crochet in the last single crochet that I just made. And I'm going to start going the other way. And if I keep going like this for a long time, I will have a really, really long and skinny, I don't know, scarf. <laughs> but if you're going to make a scarf, you probably want to make it a little bit wider than eight crochets, um, eight chains or, or eight single crochets. But that is just a great way to start. If you can get this far, then you're definitely ready to move on to the next step with your crocheting. So that is how you crochet in rows. And if you like this video, I'd love for you to subscribe to my channel, share with your friends, all that good stuff. I've got some links to patterns down below for you to try this out and check this out and practice this skill. So I hope you have an awesome day crocheting in your rows and happy hooking.